content creators, we bring you a new series of courses to help you improve the quality of your videos. This is the first class, and we're going to talk about color grading. To learn more about color grading, keep watching. So, what is color grading? Color grading is all about tweaking video to create consistent color tones throughout the final product. In cinema, color grading refers to manipulating raw film and video images to create consistent color tones throughout a motion picture. Ever notice that certain movies seem to follow certain color schemes? In the Harry Potter movies, for example, you'll see a lot of warm, bright yellow hues in the first few films, but as the series progresses, each movie gets darker with distinctly blue tones, making the setting feel cold and ominous. What is cinematic color grading? Cinema uses color as a storytelling device to change the way a film looks. While most color grading is done in post-production, some filmmakers and cinematographers shoot with color grading in mind. In Mad Max Fury Road, cinematographer John Seal uses the desert and the color of rust to convey the sense of desolation and decay in the post-apocalyptic film. He also highlighted the vibrance of the action scenes by using complementary colors on a color wheel. Notice the bright blue sky. In Blade Runner 2049, Denis Villeneuve uses more than RGB colors to draw the audience into this cyberpunk film noir. He uses yellow to indicate information or enlightenment for Kay, Ryan Gosling's character orange to warn or caution, and green to show life and vibrancy. Types of color grading. There are three types of color grading. One, naturalistic color grading. Two, contrast and mood-based. Three, specific color grading. How to do color grading in Filmora. First, place your footage on the timeline. Then from the settings panel, click on a color. Filmora provides you with some pre-made presets for color grading. Click on the preset to apply it to your footage. Under Preset, you will get the LUTs section, where Filmora provides you with some preloaded camera LUTs, which you can select according to your camera and apply to your video. Also, you can add your LUTs by clicking on Add and Browse LUT from your computer. You can even adjust the strength of the applied LUT along with protecting the skin tones with this slider. Filmora also provides manual color correction and grading features, using a color section to adjust the temperature. With temperature and tint, you can define the color scheme for your footage. Then, you can use vibrance and saturation to strengthen and intensify the color in your video. Saturation intensifies all the colors in your video, while vibrance is specifically focused on the mid-tones of the video. Then in the light section, you can adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. These settings help you make your video clearer or darker, depending on the color scheme of your video. Then Filmora has HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. You can use HSL to adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance of a particular color. HSL tuning can be used to make slight shifts in hue to individual colors, to desaturate specific colors, and leave others for dramatic effect, and to brighten or darken those colors. Then, Filmora has YRGB curves. It's a popular code grading tool that allows you to control the brightness or intensity of the highlights, midtones, and shadows in your video. The upper square box is for highlights, the middle box is for midtones, and the bottom box is for shadow. You can add points on the graph line, add highlight, midtone, and shadow, and then adjust them accordingly. Then, Filmora has a color wheel, which allows you to adjust the highlight, midtones, and shadow. You can even manipulate the highlight, midtones, and shadow color using the color wheels. Once you're done with these settings, you can check the before and after of your video by clicking on this button. Finally, Filmora has a new section called Filters, which you will find on a main panel. In the filter, you'll get different types of filters and LUTs. You'll get LUTs for different cameras like Panasonic, Nikon, Sony, Camera, Samsung, GoPro, DJI Drone, and so on. Also, you will get a whole folder for cinematic filters and LUTs, in which you will get movie LUTs. Just drag and drop onto your footage to get the movie color. Finally, here is the final version of our footage before and after the color grading. If you loved this tutorial, show your support by giving the video a big thumbs up and sharing it with your fellow editors and creators. And if you're hungry for more visual effects and tutorials, don't forget to visit filmora.wondershare.com. Get ready to unleash your creativity like never before. See you in the next one.